let's keep it rolling. All right. We have a media sensation, BB, BB Gun. Gun. BB Gun. I think he thinks of himself as a living sculpture. He's going to talk to us about that. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, on living. with him is going to be Peter Doby. And Peter Doby. Let's have him come on up. Come on up. All right, BB Gun and Peter Doby. Great to have you two here. Yeah, right? I know, I know. So you're vacationing as well as us, huh? Just out here? Or? Yeah, hanging out in the beautiful sunset. Got my shades on. So. Yeah, Sometimes, great. Yeah. What about you, Peter? What brings you out here? Uh, I'm completely heartbroken, and I came here to get away from it all. Aww. Well, how's it doing, Beach Babes? Has it been working out? I see you got the shirt open, the chest going. You're looking great, man. Mm-hmm. Working out at the beach and and so on and so forth and uh, yeah, so far I've s- spent a lot of money on women, but it's it's going well. It's going well. It's going well. It's great. Money on women, okay, okay. Now nah, I won't ask you about that one. Oh, uh, yeah. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, BB Gun? Do you have a performance happening uh, in town, or what's going on? Well, no, I don't usually take vacations. I'm usually very busy working. That's all I basically do. So uh, I was paid to come down here, so I came down, and I'm taking about five days to uh, write my novel. It's coming out next month. Uh, and title, uh, title. Uh, It's going to be, well, actually, it's my memoirs. It's three different parts, and uh, it's going to be This Is My Life, by B- presented by B.B. Gunn. It has three different right. titles, three volumes. It chronicles my entire life. Uh, it's going to be fantastic. So I'm writing five days uh, to finish everything, and then it will be coming up soon in my show. Your memoirs? Yes. How old are you? Can you, you there's not even there can't even be three memoirs. <laughs> there are th- there's there's plenty. Uh, I know there's so much. I've been working on it for months, and uh, I could I could spend more months on it. So I just I I I I'm surprised. I just have so much to say. So. It's, uh, it's going to be, there, it's, I don't know, it's somewhere around 500 pages right now. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Peter Dobry, are you excited to read the memoirs of B.B. Gunn? Uh, it's a lot to read, especially coming from a so-called human sculpture. And, uh, you know, I want to ask him about this because uh, I fancy myself quite the aesthetician. And... Uh, was that tongue-in-cheek to say that I want to ask you how the hell you think you're a human sculpture? Well, this is what is art, and we're going to try to figure out why you are art, as you say. I don't buy it for a second, but uh, here we are in the sun, and we might as well fuck it. We might as well fuck it. Well, I believe I live my life with artistic intention. Uh, I live vicariously through myself. And uh, I, uh, everything I do is uh, to be per- perceived as an art piece, and it never ends. It's continuous uh, from when I wake up and to when I go to bed. I even, I even dream of having conversations with myself on what I want to do and what I want to do next, and even my dreams, it doesn't, it doesn't end. So, uh, yeah, I, I believe if you're, if you're living your art where, if you're living your life where every, you view everything as... Uh, art, living sculpture, where every interaction that you have in conversation can be uh, perceived as something to gain out of it, you know, I, th- I think that can be, it's better, it's like living with intention, you know, just artistic intention, uh, it's, it's beyond just, it's, you're more conscious, present. You know, if, you know if, if, if you start calling everything art, then nothing is art. That's true. Do you consider <laughs> yourself a nothing who is art? I believe that art is everything. Art is nothing. Uh, I believe that, you know. I believe in. I believe in the whole, the universe, the consciousness. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't need to end. It doesn't necessarily need to begin. It just is. So yes, art. Art is. Art is all. Let's say that. Are you buying that, Peter <laughs> Doby? It doesn't look like he's buying it. I don't think so. You know, there, there's the. There's that old adage. What if something is art? It has no function, and it seems to me that you're very functionless. So uh, I, I, you're on, uh, what do you think about that? Because you're on the way. You're on the way. Well, I don't say so myself. Functionless. Hmm. Hmm. Well, uh, I mean, I, th- I suppose everyone can decide. I believe uh, 
I think after, once I, now that I am bored and once I die, I believe that ever, things that I've affected along the way, it will continue far beyond my death, and as for all of us, and I believe that that's a function in itself, and uh, we can't avoid affecting other people and other things around us, and uh, it can continue far beyond us. I don't think anything's functionless. I think it all can add up to each other into one, so. Hmm. All right, so you're talking a lot about intent and then perception. So there has to be some sort of, in order for something to be art, it has to be received by someone in some way who's perceiving it as the such, right? It doesn't exist in a vacuum. Um, at that point that you are dependent upon, and you said yourself, it's to be perceived as art, there's really no way that you can control without declaring yourself art and using the label that it's art at that point in time. There's no way for you to control how people perceive it. And then at the same time, you also said, oh, everything's art. There's not a lot of pressure on the whole situation. So why distinguish yourself as being art if it doesn't matter in the first place if everything is? So why not just be a person and all people count as art in that case? What, dis what distinguishes you from me or Mr. Doby or anyone else here in the, in the studio audience? I tend to be, as much as I like to think I'm a very giving person, I'm also very selfish. Uh, when I'm by myself, when I do anything on my own, I'm always getting a kick out of it. I'm always having fun performing for myself. I constantly perform for myself even when I'm alone. Uh, I still dress the way I dress and do what I do and consider what I'm doing art. Uh, for me, it is a continuous piece that will go on forever. And whether it's perceived or not, uh, the people that will understand it and get it and enjoy it, that's great. The people that don't, that's understandable. Not, I'm not trying to. Uh, I'm not trying to convince 100% of the population of what I'm doing is is art. Uh, that's not my goal. Uh, yeah, the people that can take it in and accept it and uh, get something positive out of it, that would be fantastic. And if that's just even 1% of the population, I'm I'm satisfied. So. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so. Um, Okay, Peter, you, you had a problem with him talking about being a living sculpture. There's been other artists who have claimed to be living sculptures, like, like Gilbert and George, for instance. Maybe Andy Warhol was a living sculpture. Do you accept that, or do you not? Peter Doby. Uh, um. I don't. I, uh, I, uh, I think it can be quite artful, and uh, and and, and uh, but 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 certainly there's artfulness in in uh, all aspects of uh, life and existence. Uh, it's certain that. Uh, he tries to put himself out of the sort of realm of the everyday. I mean, we are here sweltering in the tropics here, and you are covered head to toe with black clothing. Um, I mean, so, so my question to you, does in, in order to be art, do you have to stand out from everyone else? Do you have to be sort of radically different? I mean, to be honest, you look like a bum who walked off the streets of the Mission District in San Francisco and landed here in the tropics. And, uh, it, it, fuck. Uh, well, <laughs> well, no, I don't, I don't think you need to uh, stand out. Uh, I feel the way I dress and the way I perceive uh, myself towards others is how I feel internally, so why not show that externally through my clothes? Uh, I feel, I mean, I could be wearing something from Gap or something like that. Would that, would that be who I am? You know, it's, I, I've spent many years of my life trying to uh, buy what's on the rack, buy what I see other people wearing, buy what I see people in the, you know, in the media wearing, and what's the point? Because uh, I, when you're wearing an outfit that you could buy at the Gap or somewhere, you're just buying something that somebody else, some very far away person is telling you to wear. And now uh, I buy all my clothes at this place where you buy them by the pound, the dollar per pound. And so I'm able to find everything I want, pick out what I want, and feel like I can express myself the way I want. And uh, how I feel inside is can be external. And I'm saying, you know, yes, I, I may look 
like a bum off, off the mission, but uh, this is how perhaps I feel like a bum in the mission and at tonight. And uh, we're all bums in the mission. Yes, aren't we? So <laughs> I, far away. Place. Far away, but. Uh, not everyone has to, clearly not everyone has to dress this way because not everyone feels this way internally. And that's totally fine. That's right. Hey, yes, guys, yeah. it was great. I, I, I'm going to think about this for the rest of the night. Why don't you guys each take a lay? Yeah. You earned it. You, you, you definitely earned those. And, um, and, and enjoy like, hey, yourselves. I just have a, I have a show going on way back in uh, San Francisco on uh, September 6th to the 10th, and it's uh, BB Gun, the work of success. And you should all, if you guys, you know, if anyone makes it back to San Francisco in time, I'm, you should really check that so out. So you not only uh, profiteer yourself yes. all day, but with this as well. Of course, of course, okay. it's okay. continuous promotion. Well, yeah. if you want to see me, I'm hanging out in some bar in the mission. <laughs> yeah. Come and say hi. All right, Peter Dolby and BB Gun. Peter Dolby and BB Gun. It's fantastic. Hey, that was a great discussion. Great Loved discussion. it. Yeah, we needed that. It's interesting, All right. you know, because BB Gun was talking about performing every day. And to me, I've never really distinguished between the kind of performed and a real self. Right now, we're performing TV show hosts. They're performing audience at home. Right. You know, I but mean, whatever. To each his it's own. a job each every own. day. It's we, a job every I day. I mean, we're all actors, but right? he's got a shtick, and I appreciate a good shtick. But... That right, is well, correct. We need to take about a two-minute break. Yeah, let's take a little uh, break.